What's going on? It's yours truly. Just say it with me. They call me Miss Telefair. How's everybody doing out there? Look, I know you can get your news from a thousand and four different sources, a thousand and four different outlets. You can, literally everywhere you look, somebody's doing news now. I'm not telling you who to get your news from. I'm not even saying come to me for news. But all I am asking of the people out there, because I genuinely care about this stuff, because we're talking about people's lives, bro. These news stories affect people's lives, contracts, uh, relationships, all that stuff. This is important to me. All I ask of you quickly here is to make sure you're doing your due diligence and make sure you're going to people who genuinely care about the news. That's all I ask of you. You might not think I care about the news. Maybe you think I'm a clickbaiting person. Fine, don't come to me for news stories. I'm fine with that. I ain't no politician. I ain't lying to you. I genuinely care about this stuff. But I, if, if you don't believe me, if you don't hear the sincerity in my voice, the realness when I come across this platform, go somewhere else. But whatever you do, just make sure you do, do your due diligence on the person. Make sure they're building that trust with you every day. Make sure that more times than not, they get this stuff right. Am I 100% on every story? No, I get it wrong from time to time. But more times than not, I think I inform my people correctly. I just want to put that out there. I'm not no politician. I don't need y'all to vote for me for nothing. I ain't asking for no donations or nothing. I just want to make sure y'all getting the correct news because be real with you, it's a lot of niggas putting false information out in the atmosphere for clicks. And it's just that simple. And people believe this stuff. And we talking about people lives. A lot of these rappers, entertainers I didn't met before, I don't talk to them day to day, but I, I care about getting their stories right. Even if it's in a negative light, I just want to get it right. One guy that I've covered and I've tried to be as fair as possible to this young man is the Project Baby, Florida Zone, Kodak Black. Now, Kodak Black has been caught up in some legal woes since he came into the rap game, probably a little before that uh, as well. Uh, Kodak Black's this latest situation, though, is probably the most dangerous to his freedom for the foreseeable future. Now, if you don't remember, I'll catch you up really quickly here. Back in May, Kodak Black was arrested right around Rolling Loud down in Florida. Now, pretty much the feds got involved in Kodak Black's case. From what I was told, simply Kodak Black tried to apply for some guns in the state of Florida. Now, when on the gun application, it asks you, do you have any open felony cases? According to Kodak Black's team, they thought that it meant, do you have any open felony cases in the state of Florida? Not anywhere, because Kodak Black is fighting a rape case in South Carolina. That case is coming up sooner rather than later. He didn't know it meant everywhere. That's what he was arguing at first. He initially was going to enter a non-guilty plea on his gun charges. But upon getting some consultation from his lawyer and his legal team, he was like, you know what? We're not going to fight this. I'm facing eight years. I'm not going to try to fight this. If the feds are involved, they already got their case. They already got enough evidence to put me away. The feds don't get involved unless they got enough to put you away. That's Remember that, all right? Now, from there... We learned a little bit about Kodak Black and reportedly he rented a car and tried to shoot at an op or something like that. That's all in the documentation. I'm not coming with any new information there. Uh, but Kodak's been locked up since May. He's been in prison fighting for his freedom. He tried getting a bond. It was denied. It was a risk to the community according to law enforcement officials. And he's been locked up. Uh, he's tried multiple times. He's tried putting his house up. It's been to no uh, avail. The reason why I'm doing this story right now is because all these little details, minute details matter. Kodak Black does have a court hearing November 13th. Uh, November 13th, he'll find out his sentencing. So he'll find out in like two, three weeks how much time he's going to do. And according to Miami Local 10, his fight for freedom could have potentially gotten, and, and this sucks, a little more difficult and complicated. According to multiple reports, Kodak Black was in involved in a prison fight Thursday night in Miami. The only reason why I'm doing this story is because potentially this could push Kodak Black back. They could add this to his sentence if he was the one who initiated this fight. We don't know. Kodak Black was involved in a fight inside a prison that left one of the guards. Uh, he had to go to the hospital because of his injuries. It was a two inmate fight. We don't know if Kodak Black was the guy initiating the fight or was Kodak Black just trying to come in and, 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 and like stop the fight or whatever. But he was involved in the situation. Again, a prison guard did get injured in the scrum. All I'm telling you is there's a chance that this could be added to the multitude of things Kodak Black will be facing when he's in court on November 13th. And we don't want that for the project, baby. We want to see this young man out of prison and making this great music 
and, and touring is great music. But Kodak Black's got to want that for himself. Again, applying for a gun when you face you facing a felony, like yo, my nigga, you you probably should just get some guns off the street. You should probably just hit your homeboy up and get some illegal weapons. You probably shouldn't be the guy walking into a gun store trying to purchase weapons when you got open cases everywhere. It just seemed like basic one-on-one -on -one thought process, right? Right. But anywho, Kodak Black again involved in a prison scrum, and it's not looking great for him. He's facing eight years. He finds out exactly how much time he's going to get in two weeks, November 13th. So he'll know right before the holidays how much time he's going to face. Him pleading guilty will help. Now, here's the only other caveat I would like to bring to you. Kodak Black, like I said earlier, is fighting rape in South Carolina. South Carolina wants Kodak Black in their prison. So it could be something simple. Let's say he got time served. I doubt this is the case. But let's say he got time served in this in, in the Florida prison where he's at right now when he goes to court on November 13th and they're like, yo, you're free to go. I believe that South Carolina judge is going to, at that time, want Kodak Black to immediately go to prison in South Carolina. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what's going to happen so he can get ready to fight that case in, in South Carolina as he is charged with raping a minor. I'll give you guys more information once I get it. I wish Kodak Black and his team nothing but the best very unfortunate situation one of the most talented artists to come through this decade super good at making good music man just gotta kind of get it all together you know kodak black was on his social media a few months ago and he pretty much said he felt like his legal team was giving him bad advice he felt like they were sucking him dry taking all his money away from him and not helping him get out of situations i just put it to you like this kodak your legal team can only do so much and there are lawyers out there that i mean they can work miracles don't get me wrong but if you keep putting them in bad situations, it's going to be tough to work yourself out of them. Buying guns or trying to buy guns when you got open felonies. Come on, bruh. Come on, Project Baby. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. If you have not done so, please follow me on Instagram. It's up top right now. At is Mr. Telefero. Please uh, make sure you subscribe to the platform. It's your first time checking me out. Where you been at? I'm almost at 100 million views on this channel. And also, if you're, if you're really into my videos, you want to know when every time I, you know, you see people in the comment section saying first, second, that's because they, they notify. They in the notification gang. Hit that blue bell or red bell, whatever it is on your computer screen. And then you'll be notified every time I drop a video. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the coach. I got the kids. They Tuned in. Tuned in. We locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV.